12th June 2024. The time is 3:45 p.m. We have just visited the Gurudwara Shri Pathar Sahib and are now heading back to the Leh city. Our next destination is Leh Palace. We are traveling on NH1 or the Leh Srinagar Highway. From this point we have a beautiful panoramic view of the Indus River. We are now at the intersection called Ibex Chowk. We will be turning right onto the Skara Road. To our right is the Zoravar Fort. Zoravar Fort was built in 1836 for General Zoravar Singh, also known as Napoleon of India. General Zoravar Singh served as a military general of the Dogra Rajput ruler Gulab Singh and was said to be a master of mountain warfare. Zoravar Fort has a museum that preserves the treasures of the Dogra rulers. It also hosts the light and sound show of the Indian army every day at 7 pm except on Mondays. After crossing Zoravar Fort, we set our destination as Leh Palace in Google Map. Hardly did we know this American map will take us on a jolly ride through the narrow lanes of Leh. We kept on following the American directions blindly till finally Leh Palace was visible through our windscreen. But there was no road that would take us to the Leh Palace from here. This was a blind end. Probably Google took us for superhumans who would climb up those steep rocks to reach the Leh Palace up there. We asked the local here and learned that we had come a wrong way. I started searching the map again. for the nearest road to the lay palace and found out that there was actually a lay palace road that was terminating at the lay palace only with lay palace road as our new destination set in the great american map we again proceeded on our voyage
finally after crossing the Lamdon Model School, which is the biggest school in Leh, we were on the right track. This road connects with the Khardungla Road, which in turn connects with the Leh Palace Road. left is the road to Khardungla. Today we will go to the right towards Leh Palace. To our right, we saw a gomfa and a beautiful panoramic view of the Leh city. We stopped by to enjoy the view. Finally we are leaving the Khardungla road and taking turn towards some inner road. This is the Leh Palace Road that ends at the Leh Palace. It is difficult to park the car on the sides of this narrow road. Still we found a place to park. This is the panoramic view from the other side of the Leh Palace. And that's the Leh Palace. We are running short of time, so we would not be entering the premises. Leh Palace, also known as Lachan Palkar Palace, is a royal palace built in 1600 by Senge Namgyal, a 17th century king of Ladakh, also known as the Lion King. The palace has 9 stories. The upper floors were for the royal family while the lower floors had stables and store rooms. The palace has been restored by the Archaeological Survey of India. The roof provides the iconic panoramic view of the Leh city.
From lay pellets, we are now heading towards the lay market. To reach lay market in your own car, search for polo ground in your map. Polo ground is a huge parking area where you can park your vehicle and walk to the market. Just after crossing the lay main gate, we took a right turn. The road to the right connects with the Khardungla road while the road to the left will take us to the polo ground. Polo ground was commissioned in 1885 by Vazir Pandit Radha Krishna Kaul. Polo match is held on this ground during the Ladakh festival held in September. It is used as a parking area for the adjacent lay market in other times of the year. It's 6 pm and we are now entering Polo ground. The parking fee here is 30 rupees. This is a huge parking area with a capacity to accommodate 500 vehicles. The parking is almost full at this time and we are looking for a place to park our car. Finally we got a spot to park our car. It's 6.15 pm now. Lay market is just a few minutes walk from the other end of the polo ground. This whole area is the lay market. The complex where we are standing right now is the lay city market. The history of this market dates back to 15th century. Lay market is a vibrant hub of culture and commerce. Located at the heart of the lay city, it has shops in two main rows with a central open area for walking and sitting. One can shop for a wide range of products including traditional Ladakhi handicrafts, Kashmiri textiles, Pashmina products, Tibetan artifacts and dry fruits just to name a few. Surrounded by snow-capped peaks, this market offers a unique shopping experience to visitors. The market is an example of Ladakh's rich heritage with the uniquely colored buildings with intricate woodwork. It has that old world charm that time travels you back in time. Traders from Tibet, Kashmir, Ladakh and other regions come here to sell their products unique to their region from where they belong. We entered inside one of the shops which had this unique design, a narrow alley leading to a staircase with open roof through which you can have a view of the clear blue sky. While shopping and strolling inside the market, one can treat his taste buds with local delicacies. We however entered one coffee shop because we were a bit tired and we needed some coffee and tea. 